Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the owner of Houston Window Experts, and today we're going to do a head-to-head -head comparison of the Marvin Ultimate Double Hung Window and the Anderson E-Series Double Hung Window. Thanks for watching this video. I sure hope you're going to enjoy this as much as I'm going to enjoy showing to you the most common things that we think are great about these windows and some of the differences so you can decide which of these two windows works best for you. Now, I'm in our beautiful showroom here at uh, 467 West 38th Street in Houston, and we are excited to welcome you here. Please call ahead of time to make an appointment, but we'd love to show you all the brands and windows, uh, brands of windows and doors that we sell. We have 20 brands, including Anderson and Pella and Marvin, as you see, Windsor and many others. And uh, we have a nice little stock fridge over here if you like soda or you like beer, or you like wine, uh, whiskey. So, you know, this is kind of like a nice place to stop maybe on the way home or while you're out doing some errands and let us visit with you and show you around what we do here in our, in our showroom. So today we're gonna talk, as I said, about Marvin and Anderson. And there's a few things that I wanted to point out to you that I think you might find interesting. Both of these are wonderful companies and they make terrific products. And you can be very proud of either one of these brands. I mean, these are really the cream of the crop, right up there at the very top when it comes to quality, to brand name recognition. It's great when it comes to reselling your home because if you tell somebody I have Marvin windows or I have Anderson windows, they know what that is. They know they're getting a really high quality product and it just really helps um, you enjoy your home, but also helps you when it comes time to sell your house. So the material construction, let's start with that. This is the, the first round of our head to head comparison. Um, this is aluminum exterior. And I love aluminum exterior because in our climate, having a real wood window really can pose a problem. It's just too prone to high humidity. And, and of course, after a few years being in Houston with a lot of rain and a lot of humidity, you'll start to see issues with a true wood window. So this is, this is aluminum on the outside. Now it's wood on the inside, you'll see that in just a minute, but it's aluminum on the outside. Same here with the Anderson. It's aluminum on the outside as well with wood on the interior. Now this is not just any ordinary aluminum. A lot of companies use roll formed aluminum, which is about as thick as a, a can of Coca-Cola. This is actually extruded heavy duty heavy gauge aluminum. And I'll get you a little close up of that so you can see what I'm talking about. But this stuff is strong and it's designed to withstand the elements and it's really well built. Now the finish that they put on it, of course, is going to be a powder coat finish on top of aluminum. And we're gonna get to that in a second. But first of all, you just gotta know the construction on these two, they both in this round on our head to head uh, contest between these two brands, I think they, this is gonna be a draw. There's no clear winner here because they both make a terrific extruded aluminum with a 2604 or 2605 finish. What about exterior colors? Well, uh, when we talk about Anderson, you know, they have 57, 57 exterior colors, counting their anodized colors, or they can make a custom color for you. So if you said, I wanna have a uh, lily pad pink because it's gonna match your house. We can do a lily pad pink. There's a little setup fee, there's an extra customization charge there, but 50 standard colors, seven anodized colors, or any color you select, and that's what they can do. Okay, instead of having 57 plus anything, over here on the Marvin, they actually have 19 colors. So I think it's a clear answer that the winner of this bout uh, the second round in our contest here is got to be Anderson for all their choices on that. One last thing about their choices, they actually can do two-tone, three-tone, and four-tone options. So if I wanted this part to be one color, this part to be another color, this part to be a third color to get some accent in there, talk to your designer before you choose colors, these guys can do that. And I really like that, that's really impressive. Okay. Round number three, glass options. Both of these companies are using the best glass in the world. If you called Marvin and you said, what glass do you use? They would say the best glass in the world. If you called Anderson, what do you use? They'd say the best glass in the world. Well, they're both telling the truth because they're both using Cardinal glass. Cardinal is truly the best glass you can get in the United States. And it does such a great job, especially on really big windows where a lot of companies tend to have distortion of glass as the window gets bigger. Cardinal Glass just does a superb job, and both of these companies recognize that. And being top tier, ultra premium products, they're gonna use nothing less than using Cardinal Glass. So on the third round, this is a draw when it comes to glass. How about grids? This is round number four now. Well, 
This is where Anderson, I think, is gonna take the round on grids because Anderson actually has several different styles of grids for this product and they have many different sizes of grids for this product as well. So they have 25 grid choices compared to 10. Now, all you need is one, right? If you like the one that they offer, you're fine. But if we're actually comparing head to head these two products on grid choices, I think the bout of uh, round number four has to go to Anderson. What about specialty shapes, round number five? What about a, a crazy unique custom home where you need some specific beautiful design for a window that you've never seen before? Both of these companies, it's a draw, both of these companies make a terrific product in any shape, size, pretty much, that you can design. In fact, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've been up to the plant in War Road, Minnesota, where they actually make the Marvin product, and they have a specialty department. And those guys that are working in there, they've been with the company for some of them more than decades. And it's just, not more than decades, it'd be what, more than 100 years? But they've been there for 30 years, some of these guys, or longer. And they just, such craftsmen, they can replicate anything you can imagine. You could draw it on a napkin, submit it to them, they would create a drawing for you that you could approve, and then they would make the window and the shape or the grid, the size, whatever it is you're looking for, these guys can do it. So, and so can Anderson. I heard about a place that Anderson actually built a, um, it was in Colorado, they actually built this beautiful lodge on the side of a mountain using some of the materials that were actually harvested from where they cleared the land to construct it. So it's just, just amazing stuff that both of these companies can do. So I, I'm going to have to say it's a draw. Uh, in, interior wood species. This is round number six. Interior wood species. It looks to me like it's going to be pretty tight on this, but I'll let you decide what you think. Because when it comes to wood species, I'm going to show you here Anderson and Marvin. This is the Marvin selection. I mean, look at all the different species that they have, okay? And then they have them in all these different finishes. So it's not as though you are limited to choices. Now, obviously, you can get unfinished. You can get these things clear. But, you know, they've got white oak. They've got Douglas fir. They've got vertical grain Douglas fir. And the choices just go on and on and on. Uh, mahogany. So if there's a specific uh, type of wood you're looking for, or maybe in the kitchen you have cabinets and they're made out of mahogany and you want to have a wood window on the inside it, to be, it be made out of mahogany, then they can do it out of that as well. So there's a lot of choices here when it comes to the wood species. And Marvin has seven choices plus all these finishes. And then on, um, on the Anderson, they actually have 10 choices of wood species, and they also have a bunch of finishes. So to me, it's more or less a draw, but if we had to give the round to anyone for more wood options, we have to give it to Anderson. Uh, let's talk about interior finishes. Well, you saw all the finishes there, and, and you know that Anderson also makes some finishes. And uh, we have 23 finishes from Anderson, 17 finishes from Marvin. So Anderson wins a round on interior finishes. Let's look at the inside now. I'm gonna to have to move these windows around a little bit, but I want you to take a look at how this, is, how this is shaping up. On the inside of these windows, the basic standard option is going to be for pine wood. And in this case, this is a painted pine product. Uh, this is unfinished pine. And you can see here that uh, the interior on both of these are made from wood. And both of these look pretty much identical. I've got a little bit different grid pattern on the Anderson than what we have on our sample here in the showroom for the Marvin. But they also make a pattern just like this on, on each of these brands. So you could get the pattern you like with the, with the styles that you like. Um, <clears throat> but on the inside on this, on the finishes, having all those options is great. Now I'll tell you what we like to do at Houston Window Experts. Um, in almost every case, what we're doing is we're actually going into existing homes that already have windows and we're replacing those windows and putting in new windows. In that case, I don't like buying these windows already pre-finished because there is some nailing going on and there is some cutting and sawing from time to time in the vicinity of where the window's being worked on and I don't like damaging a pre-finish. So if anything, we order it either unfinished or we order it with a primer on it so that it takes one step out of the painting process once the window's in. Now the benefit to having all these pre-finishes, however, would be if you are building a home 
and it's new construction and time and efficiency and those things are important, you could put the window in and then all you have to do is uh, finish up to the window on your textures, but you don't have to do anything to the window. We can even get the interior casing that goes around the windows pre-cut for each of these brands and already pre-finished so that once the window goes in and you finish your, your textures up to the window, now you can install your casing on the inside and it saves your builder a step. Plus the finishes are exactly the same between the window and the window casing. So that's a, that's a great option to know about that. Now on the hardware, in this round, I'm gonna let you be the judge, but I have an opinion. So here's what's pretty cool about the Anderson hardware. It's really nice, it's kind of sleek looking, it's very slim line, it's a very clean look. And in fact, it probably looks a little modern, and I kind of like that, it's, it's recessed a little bit. I turn this handle this way, and this one this way. Oh, excuse me, I already had them unlocked. Huh. Sorry, you gotta be smarter in the window. Um, you, you raise and lower your window, okay? And also your top and bottom can also raise and lower um, wherever you want to put them. And I've got a great video about double hung and single hung windows. You should check that out. But if I wanted to um, tilt this window in either to replace this window because it broke or was damaged, or if I wanted to tilt it in so I could uh, work on cleaning the window from the inside, if you notice I have this little, it's called a wash. It says wash right here on the top. I have a wash feature that when I, when I push this forward, that pin will release this sash so that the, this sash can tilt downward and then I can do the work I want to do on it or clean it or whatever's going on there. And then when I'm ready, I, I hold the wash button back in, slide it forward, and I engage those two. And then of course locking the window is pretty simple. You just turn it like that and lock it. So pretty easy. I like it. Um, let me tell you what Marvin did. I think this is pretty cool. And I, and, and I don't see anyone else doing this. I, I think this is a patented product for them. Look how simple this is. And this actually looks like an old school traditional uh, cam lock is what they call these. If you are looking for a historical product, like say you live in an old home and you wanted it to look like it's an older window, this is so well done for that. So watch, I turn this, okay? You hear that little click? Now I'm able to open this window, right? And if I wanted to tilt the window in, I push down on the knob and give it a further turn. And when I do that, I'm releasing, if you see these here, I'm actually releasing the sash from the frame so that I can tilt it in and do what we did on the other window. Now to put it back, I do the same thing. I put it back in, and I like how this locks. Check this out. Hear that? So when I close this window, it automatically locks. On the Anderson, it does not automatically lock, but on this one, it does. And so I'm gonna have to say that when it comes to the interior hardware, in my opinion, tell me if you agree, I think Marvin wins, wins that round. Let's talk about fit, finish, style, design, and look, because pretty much these windows are terrific, and I don't think you would be unhappy owning either one of these, but I wanna point out a few things to you that I like about one brand over another. So while we're looking at the inside, here's one of the things I'm not crazy about on the Anderson product, is on the Anderson E-Series, they actually use this uh, composite jam liner. This is the track that when this window operates up and down, this is the track that it operates in. See, it, has, it needs that right there. But what I'm not crazy about is the fact that I'm always gonna see that, and it's always gonna either be white or beige. Now, if I have a, a white window and I paint it white, I, I think you're probably not gonna know the difference. But if I had a black window, and you know black's so popular right now, if I had a black window, you would see, you would see this uh, jam liner right here. It'd have to be beige or white. You'd have to take your pick. Now, if you have, window treatments or you have plantation shutters or something, maybe that's not gonna make any difference to you at all, but I, I don't really care for that. Look how Marvin does it. You don't see any white on this window. This is actually a wood jam liner cover. There actually is a jam liner behind here like you saw on that other window, but this one actually has a wood cover that then can be painted or stained to meet the same uh, aesthetics as the rest of the window. So I think that's, that's pretty cool. Also, if you notice, since this is a black window, actually the spacer they used here between the glass, they made it black. Isn't that clever? So that you don't really see white on this window. You see black on this window because that's the color of the window and that's what you should see. Um, another thing that I have noticed uh, the difference between these two is I thought it'd be kind of interesting to kind of check out their weather stripping. If you come around the front here with me, I want to show you something. On this window, 
The weather stripping is actually right here at the very front of the window. And I love that, right? Down here at the bottom, you've got this water dam. I bet this has got to be at least an inch and a quarter, inch and a half tall. If somehow water puddled here, it just can't go in. It's, it's going to have to come out and go to the front. And this weather stripping right here, when it goes down against there and seals really nice and tight, you can see how it's going to prevent the wind from blowing water back up under the window and into that space. So I really like that. Now, what do I not like about that? Because there's always a plus and a minus. What I don't like about it is look at the difference in the color now. So now I'm going to always have a different color unless I pick a window that's this color, right? Um, I'm going to have my weather stripping showing here on the front. Now, how does Marvin do it? Well, let's look at that. So Marvin, if you notice, has no weather stripping here. There's no weather stripping. I can't see any. I don't feel any. But here's what they do is pretty cool. This is a composite um, inter, what do you call it, interceptor, where the top and the bottom meet. And if you notice, it has a water dam on the back, has a gap here, has this other water dam, and then it has the slope. Now, I'm going to tilt this in because I think this is really pretty cool. I want you to see this. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to tell you about it. So in here, there's a receiver track that slides down over onto that raised portion at the bottom. And if I feel in here with my finger, I can push on that. There's actually weather stripping concealed inside the sash. Quite genius, actually. So when this window closes, this piece goes up inside of that groove that has the weather stripping on it so that I get great, a, a great weather seal, but I don't see that weather strip across the front here. And that's pretty cool. And likewise, if you notice here on the side of this window on the outside, it's also all black. You see that? You don't see any white here. What about over here on the Anderson product? If you notice here, you can still see that exterior jam liner. Now I do like that they did put, they did put some, some covers on the outside. If you watch this, you'll see, see how that slides up and down? So they just snap in the, the color that they want into that groove there so that they can give you a little bit of a cover, but you still see that jam liner that started all the way on the inside, went all the way to the outside. You still see that jam liner. And of course, I will tell you, if you do put screens on your windows, and some people don't like screens, but if you do put a screen on your window, when your screen goes on there, it's going to be a color match screen. It's really going to cover up pretty much all of these uh, inconsistencies that you're seeing between the two windows. But I think, it's, I think it's worth pointing out to you. Also, I want you to notice how all the corners on the Anderson are actually mitered corners. So you've got a mitered corner here, a mitered corner there, and a mitered corner there. I like that. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you're looking for something that's got a little more contemporary look, look how you have actually, you have a, a, a horizontal um, 90 degree instead of a 45 degree corner. So it's not a mitered corner. Now you have a mitered corner on the frame, okay? That's unavoidable. But here you have a nice flat horizontal um, corner. Same here. Um, both of these windows offer a real nice little ledge on the edges here to give some definition for shadowing and for highlighting the features of the window. Uh, both of these windows are constructed from a really nice uh, extruded aluminum exterior. There is one slight difference in the amount of glass space. These windows are both the same size, just so you know. So on this one, the glass space, what I actually see for glass, is 22 and a half inches, maybe just slightly over 22 and a half. That's the Marvin. And on the Anderson, I've got 22 and maybe a quarter. So it's just, it's just almost identical, but I get just a little bit more glass here than I do here. I, can, I have a little bit, a little bit better uh, color coating when all of my colors are the same, which doesn't apply if you're just looking at a white window, of course. And I actually like how I don't see the weather stripping on the Marvin where I do see it over here. So I'd have to say that this round for just fit and finish, for design ideas, for engineering, I'm going to have to give that to Marvin. Uh, let's talk about warranty. Well, warranty is going to be a draw. They both offer a 20-year warranty on their product. Both of them offer a transferable warranty on the product. It's 20 years on a frame. It's 10 years on the, on the hardware and on the wood on the inside. And 20 years on the glass. So it's a 20-10-20. 20, 20. 20 on the frame, 20 on the interior, uh, 10 on the interior wood and hardware and then 20 on the glass. And they're both transferable. So that's nice that you can sell your house and tell the homeowner it's the long since under the 20 years, 
that's buying it from you, tell them, hey, you know, I've actually still got a warranty on these. And then when it comes to price, um, Anderson's gonna win. Um, my experience has been all things being equal, apples to apples, you're gonna spend about 10% more for the Marvin product than you would for the Anderson product. And of course, it depends on your project and the size of your project. Both of these companies offer um, some additional discounts, as do we when the projects are, are larger. Uh, because when you start getting into a product like this, it's gonna be pretty pricey. This is going to be at the top tier of window pricing um, of any major brand. It's gonna be your Anderson, your Pella, and your Marvin. Those guys are really at the top. Uh, Colby's another one that's, that's really at the top. So great products are made by great companies with great skilled craftsmanship, and they're gonna have higher prices. But in the, in the price to value, um, that's up to you. When you think about value, if this is more important to you, some of the features I showed you here, then it's worth paying another 10% or so. But if you're looking at a wood window, and you're gonna do a white window, and you want the Anderson brand name and their recognition, this is a great product, and it saves you about 10%. So in summary, who won the head-to-head -head between the Anderson E-Series and the Marvin Ultimate? Well, I'm gonna have to give it this time to the Anderson E-Series, but it really boiled down to options. They have more color options, more hardware options. They have more choices for you when it comes to the grids. And also, for a slight 10% savings, overall value, it's gonna to go to Anderson. Thanks for watching this video. If we can help, give us a call.